Hi guys, sorry I'm in a different location, I'm in my bathroom. Today I'm going to show you how to make hard putty into soft putty. It's really simple, all you need is hard putty, mine's Arctic Flare, one cup, I don't know why there's two stuck together, soap and your sink and be in the bathroom because I don't want to get soap all over my thing. So first you're just going to want to fill this up with cold water. And it has to be cold water for some reason. And now you take the putty out of the container and just put it to the side. And then you just want to put the water in your container. And then what you do with slime, you know, you go like that. That's what you want to do with your putty. Put it in the cup with water. Put two things. Put two drops of Soap. You can use any soap. This one is just much easier. And then just push it down until it has soap all around it. Okay, so this has soap all around the edges. Your hands might be a little soapy, but you're just going to wash them after. It's already going to get pretty soft um, after you need for a couple of minutes. But that's not what you need because then it's just going to turn into noodles. So you just want to push it, try to gather it together, and then put it with the water. And you're just going to let this soak in and just let it drip. And you're going to want to wash and dry your hands. So. If you already have a lot of soap and you have some water, you wash your hands. Okay, so my hands are dry. My putty has been sitting in here for like 10 minutes. And it's a little less, how do you say, like soapy. So I'm just going to get it all gathered. See, now it's much easier to gather after you've, um, you want to dry your hands. And then you're going to want to wash them and dry them again. And then our excess water will just be poured into the cup. And you can just dump the cup into the sink because we won't be needing it. So now you're just gonna want to dry your hands again. Put your soap back and just knead the putty into how you like the softness. If you don't like the softness, you can, um, add more soap so i'm not really a fan of how soft it is so i'm just gonna squeeze it together put it like that also another trick is to take another bar of soap um put it in some water scrub it around the putty so it already has like the soapy feel and if you use this the entire time it might not turn out soft, so you just want to put one pump, just one, and then you're just going to want to go from up to down, side to side, and just go like that. That's like adding something to, um, what is it called, slime, and now it's getting all noodly again. And you're just going to want to do that until it is how you like it. See, it's like all noodly and blah. So this is um, how it is right now. And it's really, really, really like so soft, guys. I still have to knead it a little more. And you guys can do this to all of your putties. I did this to one of my putties when I was in... Um, Pennsylvania shampoo works better, but if you guys don't have shampoo in this bathroom, you don't have any shampoo, there's two shelves that are empty, no shampoo. Under is just different kinds of soaps. Nothing, nothing interesting. Um, just sprays and stuff, no shampoo. So, now it is soft and perfect and who doesn't love it? Um... So I might be getting another putty, and maybe, I don't know. So right now I am kneading my labor, late, 
Le Lady Liberty putty and it's turning out really soft. And this is the one that I did in Pennsylvania. I got this in Pennsylvania. And I was just like, wow, this will be another collection to make my 50s, 50 um, putties. And if you can see, I lost my toothpick. Okay. Anyway. And now I just have this dish because my container is in the other room. So. But thank you guys so much. This is so soft. I'm sorry. I'm getting out of hand. I don't know why I'm ending it the second, but no. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment. Bye!